Uptown is a spot, a popular spot for cuisine from Southeast Asia. But our Hunger Hound says that a spot in Pilsen is serving up Vietnamese dishes at a higher level, and now the owners of Hai Su are running a tiny coffee shop, and it's delivering big flavors. Here's Steve Delinsky now with the Saturday Night Sampler. Tai Dang's passion for the food of his childhood knows no bounds. His latest effort, Ka Fe Da, next door to his restaurant, Hai Su, offers a lot more than just the ubiquitous cup of strong Vietnamese coffee. In some cases, it's served classically in drip form. You simply mix it up with sweetened condensed milk, then pour over ice. In other versions, he adds a whipped sabayon or egg custard scented with fresh vanilla bean. Again, mix it up before drinking. The coffee is exquisite. Roasted by my sister-in-law's family, uh, sent here to us every week. And so we just specialize in a few items of uh, uh, Vietnamese style coffee with condensed milk. Uh, and then we have banh mi's all day. And after five o'clock, you can get a uh, hot item food. Those banh mi, or sub sandwiches, begin with a smear of homemade mayo and a dose of hot sauce, plus thinly sliced cucumbers and your choice of several options like grilled chicken or braised pork. Shredded lettuce, a mound of freshly picked herbs and lettuces, as well as thinly sliced and pickled daikon radish and carrot add a final bit of crunch. Early in the day, try one of their pastries. Like the lychee danish, um, the pandan brioche, and then of course the coconut bun, all made in house. The brioche is colored green from pandan, a native leaf that has a beguiling aroma. Served with a side of coconut jam, it's Southeast Asia in every bite. Later in the day, after five, Deng offers a few heartier options. Gom bin zan, which I grew up uh, eating and also in Vietnam is that like the worker's meal. Right now, our menu has braised uh, pork belly with uh, hen egg and mustard, uh, pickled mustard green. Just mix up the egg with the protein and the rice and get a satisfying meal for just 10 bucks. Deng's wife and partner, Danielle, handles the beverage program next door at Haisu. Here, she offers a few cocktails as well, all made with crushed ice and fresh herbs, even some with tropical jackfruit. But Deng says he hopes the coffee shop can serve as a gathering place for his new neighbors in Pilsen. For the locals, that they could come in, grab a bun mi, have a coffee, kind of like casual feel all day, every day. Well, the cafe is really meant to be an all-day affair, from pastries and coffee in the morning to iced coffee and sandwiches in the afternoon, and more substantial dishes after 5 p.m., including some cocktails. In Pilsen, Steve Delinsky, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Steve loves his work. Okay, uh, in this week's Extra Course, which is Steve's web-only video, he checks out one of the cafe's coffee and coconut smoothies. So for more information about Cafe Da or to uh, see that exclusive video, go to abc7chicago.com, click on the Sections button. That's where you'll see the Hungry Hound tab in the middle of the page. That links you to all of Steve's stories and videos, or just call the info line, 312-750-7096. Mm.